Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. In today's video, I want to demonstrate you how to make an infused oil from a Centella Exotica. Centella Exotica has been well known for its anti-aging benefits on the skin and it is popularly used in K Cosmetics. I will explain what are the best carrier oils you want to use to make an infused oil and how to infuse Centella. And at the end of the video, I will quickly show you idea how to make a all Centella lotion by using this infused oil. Plant oil or called a fixed plant oil has been popularly used in the skincare. There are so many different plant oils such as olive oil, sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, argan oil, oat oil, jojoba oil, there are so many different plant oils. But when we are doing the infusion, we will have uh, several factors we want to choose. The first one is obvious, it has to be liquid at the room temperature because normally when we do infusion, soak the herb in the oil room temperature. Keep it fluid is uh, important. So even coconut oil has a very many benefits into the skin but it cannot be used for infusion at least at the, the room temperature as shin butter is the same and the second one we want to have some benefits from the oil can enhance the infusion so olive oil gripsy oil and almond oil those are the good oils we choose to make an infusion especially from uh, Santilla. In today's video, I'm using the almond oil because it brings the anti-aging benefits. It's kind of a double the effects of the anti-aging benefits from the Centella. If you want to know more about Centella Azarica and its benefits, please watch my other video and I have more detailed explanation. You can also use olive oil. It has a very good anti-inflammation, antioxidants, and wound healing benefits because it contains the oleic acid that's a free fatty acid. And the other benefits of olive oil, it can help penetrate the skin layer to bring the nutrients down below to the deeper. And gripsy oil brings extra antibacteria and it also because it contains a phenolic compound and a vitamin E antioxidants to keep the skin integrity. So these three oils are good candidates as a carrier oils. It depends on what herbs you want to extract and how to use it. So you can choose from these three oils. As I mentioned, I'm using the sweet almond oil as a carrier oil to infuse the Santella because study found that almond oil can help reduce the stress from the UV, reduce stretch marks, and help improve the anti-aging. Double the effects of Santella to make more benefits, remove the wrinkle, and keep the skin more healthy and anti-aging. We make an infused oil, it's preferred to find the dry herbs because dry herbs has a low moisture content. This can keep the oil healthier for longer term because we normally do the infusion at room temperature and we don't add any preservatives. The oil itself, it can live long, but if you have water in the oil, then you bring the chance for the germs to grow and that's why we want to use the dry herbs for most of the cases. I made the oil on June 7th and today is uh, July 15th. So it has been 35 or 5 weeks so far. Um, let's uh, open it and I take a look at the oil. So normally uh, when making infused oil, it takes uh, at least 4 weeks. Uh, eight weeks or longer is better and um, but we can still uh, take a look at it this moment I 
as compared with the almond oil I use and see if you can tell any difference this is the uh, original uh, the almond oil and this is a uh, infused oil it's obviously it's getting a uh, darker and all the greener because it's extracting the essential compounds out of the Santella. So this is a good sign. So infuse does really work by using the almond oil. When doing the infusion, especially when using these uh, Santella, these dry materials, they are very light. They can flow on top of the oil in the first couple weeks. So at that time, uh, keep shaking and doing like this upside down. Sometimes I just let it sit like this for a week. So make sure all the, the herbs has a good cycle in the oil so they can fully wet it by the oil. And that is important to make a good infusion. I'm going to keep infusion for another two weeks to make a two months help a better extraction from the dry herbs. And the idea of making those a full Santella lotion is by using the Santella hydrosol made through the steam distillation. If you're not familiar with hydrosol, please watch my other video. It will show up as in the box at the end of this video how to make a Santella hydrosol. And you can just follow that to make your hydrosol. And by using that hydrosol with this uh, infused oil uh, to make this full Santella lotion. In the next video, when this oil is ready, I'm going to demonstrate you how to make that lotion. Okay, thank you for watching. and uh, Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.